All right, at times I'll post these infographics by YLM um, Sports Science. So you can follow him on Twitter and even on Instagram. And he has a website. He's a French sports scientist that summarizes papers. And I think they're really interesting, short, sweet, and to the point. And so this is a paper from the Journal of Biomechanics from July 2015. And it was looking at ground reaction forces, which is why I have it in this section. Um, and basically ground reaction forces for step one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11 for a 40 meter sprint. And they had world-class sprinters and high level sprinters. All right, and they were trying to figure out the difference in the horizontal ground reaction force. So remember that's not vertical, but horizontal. So it's in the AP plane. So it's either the force that's propelling you or that's breaking you. And what they found, why world-class sprinters were indeed faster, was that for the initial steps, they had a higher propulsion phase or positive phase of the ground reaction force in the horizontal plane. So you can see the, the dark line is world class, the lighter line is high level, higher here, slightly higher by step five. And then later, by step nine and 11, they had a decrease in their braking force. So they were both propelling themselves earlier and braking less later. So and they just summarize that you had um, positive force values rather than negative ones for the first six to seven steps. And then in the phase two, the later steps, you had um, less negative ground reaction force or breaking forces um, in the world-class athletes. All right, I'm gonna pull that up. Hopefully that, you can see that on the, oops, sorry, on the video. And so this is, is slightly different. Um, from the Scandinavian Journal of uh, Medicine, Science, and Sports from 2015. So they had elite and sub-elite sprinters, again, over 40 meters. And these guys just reiterate what was found in the previous study, that elite sprinters were able to produce higher horizontal forces at any velocity compared to sub-elite sprinters, right? So the, it's not about the vertical ground reaction force, it's really maximizing basically your resolution of vectors, how you apply the force to the ground to propel you forward and not vertically. Um, this higher horizontal force uh, was caused by better orientation of the force, and that's exactly what I just said, the resolution of vectors. So um, you kind of need to embrace resolution of vectors, how you um, place that vector of your force on the ground will affect your horizontal versus vertical um, forces. Uh, and they suggested that more powerful hip extensors and ankle joint stabilizers um, gave these athletes a better orientation of their resultant force produced. Oh, and here's a nice little resolution vector, right? Here's your vector. Some of it is in the horizontal and some of it is in vertical.